This is my Frankenstein cardigan. You can get the pattern for this in my shop. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add the stitching. You're first going to need some yarn, scissors, and a yarn needle of your choice. Um, just thread the needle and you will pull up from the bottom and leave about mm, a foot of space to work this stitch, depending on the size. These ones are about six inches long with several cross stitches on them so um, you'll come up from the bottom and then go out and this is your long the longest piece of the stitch and then from the point where you went back down through the front you're going to want to come back up for the first short cross stitch i like to do them a little bit alternating angles and alternating lengths as well um, and I'm just going to put a few through here. You're going to keep coming up through one side and down through the other side so that you will eventually end back to where your starting tail was and then you can tie them. And make sure that you're not pulling too tight. You want to keep this a little bit loose so that you're not um, cinching the fabric together. But not so loose that, you know, they're going to clearly be loose and coming apart and stuff like that. And I also like to go between the stitches rather than between the fibers. That way it can easily be removed um, or, you know, changed up if needed. And then there you have it. It's ended up back where you began. You're going to just tie that off really well. Um, you can weave it in or you can just cut it a little bit and make sure that you don't tie that knot too tight either. I like to tie it a couple of times with the first one staying pretty loose. Okay, well, happy Halloween. Hope you enjoyed.